welcome back to the channel everyone i hope they're having a wonderful day out there wherever you are and however you may be thank you for being here i'm just going to adjust the light for just a second here as we get ourselves prepared all right so we are going to listen to uh the first track here off of the grand wazoo of course this is frank zappa uh and the mothers of an invention it's been a while since we've listened to mr zappa and i figured you know what i say let's i say that we do it i say we do it uh, so, okay, this is something I'm just noticing. I was going to do, the, well, the, for this video, I was going to do for Calvin and his next two hitchhikers. But when I pull it up on Spotify, the first track is the title track, The Grand Wazoo. When I have it here on Wikipedia, it says that Calvin is the first track. Uh, and then when I look elsewhere, it says for Calvin is the first track. So, yeah, we're going to stick with Calvin. Uh, I hope I'm not messing this up or listening to it out of order, but... Two things said that Calvin's first, so Calvin comes first. Let's listen to it. We'll talk about it after. Here we go.
Do you guys remember my first reaction listening to Frank Zappa years and years and years ago? Uh, what song was it? It was, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, um, Montana. Okay, remember how I, 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 if I remember correctly, I didn't really like it. I didn't like the comedy aspect. I didn't like the silliness and I wasn't quite sure about the sound of it all. So when it comes to Frank Zappa, I, I am still very much new to him. Uh, this is going to take me a few listens again. <laughs> this is, this is, this is where I'm at. I enjoyed it, but it's difficult. So I'm going to need a little bit more time to kind of ease into it. I was kind of thrown into the cold waters on this one. And even though I enjoyed swimming when I'm when my body got used to it, I would like to, you know, maybe come out the pool for a little bit and this time re-enter the pool steadily and at my own pace. <laughs> but it was a really good track. I really enjoyed the horn sections. Of course, that's sometimes burning, like hot burning, uh, but with jazzy fury. That's why I said during the track, it felt like having a bad trip in a jazz club. <laughs> that, that's and Then it starts to come in, it starts to come in, and then all of a sudden, before you know it, you're in this acid jazz scene that we have brewing. Now, I, I mean, do mean brewing uh, throughout this whole thing. The vocals are there, which is kind of group soul, light harmonies, and... The lyrics, I think, are silly. There's not many, but I think the singing is a little silly. Not like a lot, though. But it is a nice little padding on top of the music at that at that specific point. Um, I, I don't know how singable it is or if anyone's going to be singing this at karaoke. Where did they go? Where did they come from? What has become of them now? Is this talk about talking Cotton Eye Joe? Cotton, <laughs> Cotton Eye Joe. How much was the leakage from the drain in the night? And who are the dudes... In the back seat of Calvin's car. Where did they go when they got off the car? Didn't they go eat, get a sandwich and eat in the dark? I don't know if there's supposed to be some deep philosophical meaning behind these lyrics or if this is just one, another one of those, you know, Zappa using words to fill in lyrics and, you know, it's because the records wanted it, etc., etc. I don't know. But uh, I, I don't know what's happening with Calvin and his two hitchhikers. Maybe they just went and got a snack. I don't know. Something sounds like to me. Anyways. This was a nice little opening track to the album. Shall we continue? Let me know. In the comments down below, you can follow me over on Twitter and support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.